Hello everybody, this is Dave Dugdale, LearningDSLRVideo.com, and I think I took a big step forward in uh, color correction. Not so much color grading, not the fancy color grading stuff, but just understanding how to go from a flat picture style to something that works pretty well. Here, let me show you. All right, so from my last clip, my test that I did before, here's the neutral style. There's the landscape style, which you can see a little more color skin tone and the pick these are a little bit more saturated um, and here's the um, finished Marvel Cine um, and this is what it first started with so I went from that to that um, which I think looks pretty good I think it looks better than the other two ones you can see it doesn't have that kind of green that the other ones have there's a neutral landscape and that one's the Cine so Let's go ahead and I'll show you how I got to this point. Um, so what I do is delete everything off of here, like the sharpening, fast color corrector, and through a color corrector. You can see what we're basically I have nothing on the screen uh, effects wise. So first thing I go ahead and drag the fast color corrector on. Uh, let's search for sharpening and drag that on the clip and the three way and three-way color corrector okay so now <clears throat> excuse me um the first thing i'm going to do is add a little sharpening and for this i don't know we'll start off at 30. And you can see um if i go too far here i'll make it a lot see i have way too much sharpening so um i think 30 is usually about right all right so we're done with the sharpening uh, next thing we're going to do is the fast color corrector and get the, um, we're going to set the uh, levels. So what I like to do is go to the Lumina and just black and white and set it just using black and white and not worry about the colors at all. Um, you can try doing the um, white level, click on the white, uh, click on the mid, which is the 18% right there, and then click on the black right there. But that doesn't seem to work too well. Um, and you can see there's absolutely no color in here. It's just white and black is that center green dot. So um, what I'd like to do is actually start playing around with this. Um, and I, that looks a little bit better. You can see I'm still washed out here. So I'm going to take up the highlights, um, bring them up. Uh, that's about right. And then the, the blacks, yeah, let's go ahead and increase that just a little bit more. Oh, yeah, have a little bit more. Yeah, maybe too much. Let's pull down the blacks just a little bit. And then if we compare that to, well, it's black and white, but um, just compare it to that the contrast seems to be about the same as the landscape so I think we're kind of in the ballpark with that so I'm going to switch back to composite and then if you notice going from the landscape to this one there's not much saturation there right so and you can look just right, if you're just looking right here in the color card when I flip back and forth you can see there's a big difference between the colors and it's mostly just due to saturation so what I'm going to do in the fast color corrector is go ahead and increase the saturation and I'm just going to keep boosting it now now you can start to see that the um, the monitor is showing that the the colors are coming outward uh, much greater and let's go a little bit more that seems about right right about there so you can see there's there's the before and after so far um, and the skin tones look so uh, pretty close. I think it's a little bit off. Um, but if you look at the saturation of these colors in the color card, I think they're about right. Um, you can see, look at the yellow pop. Um, that one versus that one. And you can see, uh, let's see. Because one of the things I've learned about this particular monitor, watch this, this is really cool. You see, if I go to the, the, the tones that you could just bring on to, it's just 1K tone on there too, but the, the color bars, you'll see that there's each one of these matches up perfectly inside their uh, 
appropriate place like blue magenta red yellow and green so what's really cool about this is if i take uh, uh put a color corrector on the actual color bars and i take this out and i start to wheel it around watch what happens see as the colors kind of shift as i go around here let's add a whole bunch of saturation you'll see this a lot better you see how they all move and so what i've learned is as the color wheel goes around you can use this monitor as a tool a really quite sophisticated tool to find out if you're in the right ballpark or not so let's go ahead and uh, set that back to zero i think that's back to zero uh, anyway here i'll just turn this effect off okay so let's go back to the one we're working on but there, there's something wrong with this and you can see and i think it's the main reason the skin tone doesn't look quite perfect is look right here on the reds uh you can see the reds are shifted to the left a little bit and they want to be kind of in this area right in here this if you go past this one that's um past broadcast legal or whatever they call it but in terms of the reds in terms of skin tone i think i need to shift this so what i'm going to do is go back to here and i'm going to go to the three-way color corrector and what i'm going to do here is i'm going to go to tonal range and you're going to notice that these are the highs where you see all white, the mids are all gray, and anything that's in, uh, the lows or the, the shadows are black. So if I'm just working on my face, and in this case I am, and turn hold on, phone just called, oh, I'll be right back. Hi, this is Dave. No, no, no thanks, bye sales calls ah anyway all right so we know we're going to go back to composite and what's going to happen is i'm going to take this let's move it out and you can see on the screen here i've just shifted it kind of to the right spot right so you see if i move it all the way around you'll see they're all they're moving whoa, they're moving around oh another quick thing is this line right here this horizontal line represents a pretty good skin tone it doesn't matter what color your skin is it's something about the blood flowing through your skin but if you can line it up with this right here you've got a good skin tone so i'm kind of mostly interested in that red right now so as you can see i'm pulling it over here and that's too much so if i pull it back just let's try it about right in there it's a real let's pull a little bit more A real subtle change yeah right about there let's try that so let's let's turn this on and off there's before and there's after that's with it off and you can see the green tint so i'm counteracting the green and adding that and i think that looks better see there's the green tint at least on the wall and my face seems to have it too but right there it's just a subtle change um so that's pretty much it. I think I made a big, uh, you know, if you look at the difference between that one and that one, there's my landscape, there's neutral. They all seem to have a lot of green in them. And then when I go to that one, I think it's correct. I mean, if you look at the color card, they look, the colors look saturated. The yellow looks way too hot, but I think that's okay. But um, big difference between bef there's before and there's after. There's quite a difference. And you can see it just looking on the, the monitor, uh, the reference monitor, huge difference in saturation. And you can see I shifted the colors a little bit too. So that's pretty much it. All right, talk to you later, bye.